Well, hello, Internet. I just had a few quick tech tips for you today um, about downloading images. On an average website, usually when you would scroll through and you would find an image, you right-click on it and you see the Save As image. Um, this is pretty easy. So let's go to a uh, web page like Facebook. You click on that photo and there you see the save as so that's how you would um, Facebook's reminding me here that I'm not logged in let's close that um, so what about something a little bit more difficult like Amazon well you just click on it once it expands and you can right click and save image as and you'll get high resolution images saving them this way but what if you wanted to do something a little bit more complicated like a website like iStock. Uh, so let's let's search for something in iStock photos. Um, how about hail damage? Let's search for a photo of hail damage. Uh, one of these pictures looks really cool. Oh, I like that. That those pictures of tornadoes are really cool. So let's let's click on that one. Oh, nope, we get watermarks. Let's go back. We don't want to give twelve dollars for it. Let's try to save it this way. Save link as. No, nope, that doesn't work. It wants to save it as an HTML document. So how are we going to get that image? All right, here's how we can do it. Right click, go to inspect element, and then you'll see the highlighted code for that block come directly underneath it. And you see this small arrow where my cursor is. Go ahead and click that, and it'll drop down, and then you'll see when I hover over this location, this HTTP URL, you'll see that the image is located right there. Go ahead and right click there and say open link in a new tab. Okay, now we have the picture opened in a new tab. We can go ahead and zoom in and see that the resolution is quite good. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on it and save image as and give it a name. Uh, let's go test one two three four because I've been doing this and testing this out and I have several of them so now let's go into my files and find test one two three four now you see it there good resolution totally free from a paid photograph website you wouldn't want to steal them but you could use them for personal use. Use them on the background of your computer if you want. So that's that. Now let's go to something that's a little bit complicated here. Let's look at a website that has one of these zoom. These zoom in type photos. And you right click on those and you can see here that you really don't have an option to download any of these. This one has a save image as option down here. But not a high resolution save as option. So let's right click on that, go to inspect element. And some of these, like this website for instance, the image is going to be saved in the CSS on this side. But you can see the address quite clearly there, and you'll see a pop up. So you can you can right click on that and uh, go to copy URL, open a new tab, and paste that in. And there you are. Now you can right click on it and save the image as, and it's going to give you that image in full resolution. Um, kind of basically the same thing here. Here's another one that has a zoom box. You basically do the same thing. 
Uh, in this case, it has thumbnails down below it. So you can go open that thumbnail in a new link or in a new tab, and then go to that tab. And then here you are. You can save image as and download that image. So that's a little tutorial on how to get images, sometimes more difficult images, off of just about any page that you come across. Well, that's about it for today. Talk to you later.